Hey guys, welcome to this review of The Haunted Mansion. This is a uh, Disney movie from the early 2000s starring Eddie Murphy and uh, Terrence Stamp. Um, I hadn't seen this movie when it came out. I think I had been to The Haunted Mansion at that point, but I, I think I'd only been to like the European version of The Haunted Mansion, the, kind of, uh, the one in Paris, Euro Disney, okay? And that one is very different. Like it looks completely different um, to the Haunted Mansion from Disneyland. So I didn't have this kind of like um, real interest in uh, in the ride in general. It's a fun ride, even in Paris, but it's it's completely different. It doesn't have the same vibe to it at all. Much better in Disneyland. Um, and since then, I've been to the Disneyland one, and I love it. So that's what prompted me to go back and be like, you know what? Maybe this Haunted Mansion movie that I missed all these years ago, maybe it's not that bad. And uh, so I went to Disney Plus. I checked it out. I love Eddie Murphy movies. I've actually been trying to catch up on some of the Eddie Murphy movies that I missed over the years because there's actually a few of them. Um, and this one, I wasn't sure which way it was going to go. Um, I didn't know how creepy it was going to get uh, or... Because this movie didn't do very well. Like it was kind of like an attempt by Disney to kind of um, do another Pirates of the Caribbean kind of deal. Uh, unfortunately, with something like the Haunted Mansion, it's very hard to match energy with the Pirates of the Caribbean movies because Pirates of the Caribbean, you've got freaking boats that can go anywhere. You know, they can just sail to other worlds underwater. They can go to like the world's end. Um, in in Haunted Mansion, you can really just do flashbacks unless you you have kind of you mix it with the Tower of Terror. I mean, you got like portals and stuff. Um, yeah, but at this point, you're just doing Twilight Zone. Um, but yeah, so the Haunted Mansion, you can really do just ghost stuff in the house. Some flashbacks, maybe. That's about it. Different characters coming in and out. The Casper kind of deal, you know. So it's always been kind of a more limited uh, thing for Disney, I think. Like, it's very hard to turn something like Haunted Mansion into a franchise. You can do it without expanding things in a way that makes the mansion itself more of a, a kind of vehicle to get to other better places uh, or just doing kind of a big crossover that may actually kind of lower the, the the value of like the haunted mansion kind of idea completely to the point where it's not even that. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard. It's tough. So I was really curious to see uh, why this movie didn't do well. Like, is it because of the restrictions of that concept or is it because it's just a really bad movie, you know? Um, and it's really kind of like neither because this movie is not bad. Like, this is not a bad movie. It's fine. You know, I, I had an okay time watching it. Uh, and also, it didn't feel restricted. It feels like, actually, we could have gone deeper into uh, the mansion itself and met, like, way more characters. But I felt like there was an adequate amount of <laughs> characters in this movie and stuff happening. I wasn't bored watching it. It is kind of like, uh, yeah... It's your typical kind of like ghost movie. Like there's a, there's nothing crazy about it. There's nothing crazy memorable about it. Um, it's just kind of a it's an entertaining kids movie, basically. Now, it's not perfect. Okay, it's got some issues. It definitely has some issues. Okay, um, Eddie Murphy's good. Um, the movie follows this guy who's kind of like a real estate agent who's a workaholic, played by Eddie Murphy. And his wife is kind of running the company uh, with him. Uh, but she's more down to earth. She's not like... She She wants to actually have quality time with her family. And he's kind of lost track of that. They have two kids. One of them is this really smart um, young girl. And the other one is a um, kind of scared little kid. Okay? Um, and so they decide to go on a holiday for the weekend. But... Just before that, they get a weird call from the Haunted Mansion, uh, which is not... They don't call it that, okay? <laughs> but it it's basically like uh, the owner of the house wants to sell the mansion. And so Eddie Murphy decides, you know what? Before we go to the lake on our holiday weekend, let's just go really quickly to the mansion. 
uh, talk with the owner and see what's up so we can sell the house. Um, so they go there and instantly it's like, <laughs> it's, it's not the kind of place that you want to put on the market. You know, this is like everything's overgrown. It's scary as shit. There's like freaking, there's like a, a whole ass cemetery right there. <laughs> so it's not ideal. Uh, the butler played by Terrence Stamp is creepy as hell. Um, and everything just looks like really dated and stuff, but it is beautiful as well. So they, they see the potential, I guess. Um, and so they meet the owner, etc. And it turns out very quickly that pretty much everybody there is a ghost, right? <laughs> like, I think in, as soon as you see Terrence Stamp, you're like, oh, that guy's a ghost. You know, like he's not glowing or anything, um, but he's absolutely 1000% a ghost. Okay, and then all this weird stuff starts happening. Of course, is the freaking haunted mansion. You got glowing blue balls of energy just like floating around. You're not sure what's going on. Yeah, and then obviously like Eddie Murphy and his wife kind of get separated, and the kids as well. Um, and it's all about kind of like uh, the owner of the house of the mansion is trying to get um, Eddie Murphy's wife to basically be with him because she is an exact like lookalike of uh, the woman that he loved many, many, many years ago called Elizabeth, who took her own life, committed suicide with poison. And so he wants to kind of be with her again. And he thinks that she is her somehow, like she's the new embodiment of Elizabeth. Okay. And obviously that puts Eddie Murphy in a bad place because the butler just wants to get rid of him because he didn't invite him as well. Like he didn't invite Eddie Murphy or the kids. Uh, he didn't want them there at all. So they're kind of like fighting the ghosts and stuff. But they're also Eddie Murphy and the kids kind of get the help of some of the other ghosts. Like there's these um, there's a couple of like the, the there's like a maid and there's like um the another butler dude they hire their help a little bit the glowing like the the ball like the the creepy like head in a crystal ball from like the ride uh it's jennifer tilly playing that character and she does an awesome job actually that that was really good <laughs> that was really good casting i gotta say she kind of nails it um looks very different than in the ride but like she 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 was great so they're kind of trying to steer Eddie Murphy in the right direction. Like he has to go collect a key to open a chest that would lead to answers. You know, it's the usual thing. Um, and he meets a whole bunch of like goofy ghosts along the way. Like in the cemetery, you've got like the, the busts, the singing busts. It's like a barbershop quartet singing the classic uh, song from the ride. Um, and then there's some spooky parts. There's some spooky parts to this movie, like where uh, Eddie Murphy and his kids have to like fight like all these like scary ass freaking skeletons. And then you've got like, uh, there's a scene where like, <laughs> it reminded me of Poltergeist where like Eddie Murphy looks at himself in the mirror and it's like the zombie version of himself. And it's actually pretty scary. For a little kid, obviously, not not for an adult, but like, you know, um, and then there's like all these spiders as well, because the little kid, Eddie Murphy's little kid has um, a fear of spiders. So there's lots of spiders everywhere. Um, and it's it's cute. Like, it's a fun little uh, Halloween movie, I think. I think this is the kind of movie that deserves, you know, a watch now and again on Halloween. It's not a masterpiece or anything like it. I feel like the big problem with this movie is the writing uh the jokes are very hit and miss uh, eddie murphy himself he's always fun okay and he has some funny moments but i feel like he it could have been funnier eddie murphy in this movie and it's not his fault like he really does try and uh he's got some good lines here and there he just needed a few more like he needed to actually they didn't really give eddie murphy like too much to work with in terms of like um funny dialogue you know uh, but you know what he's and also his character is not particularly interesting he's just kind of like a workaholic that's it that's like the whole character <laughs> um they could have fleshed him out a little bit as well uh the kids like the acting i mean they're kids how far can you get with that they're, they're so so um but the bigger problem for me is just how freaking predictable this movie is oh my god i give this movie like early on like way more credit than I should have, because at the beginning you see you meet two characters, right? You meet the um, creepy butler played by Terrence Stamp, and you meet the owner of the house, who is kind of creepy as well, but like in the charming kind of way. So instantly I was like, oh, it's gonna turn out 
that the owner of the house is the um, is the bad guy, right? Clearly, and he killed his wife or whatever. Um, because I thought like the really obvious thing would have been for the butler to have done it. Like it would have been like the obvious thing, and also he's such an obvious bad guy. Like it can't be him. Surely they didn't do that. But no, I went one level deeper to give the movie credit, and actually, no, it actually is just the butler that did it. And it's the the obvious bad guy of the movie is the bad guy. And he did the bad thing. And I was just like, oh, that's it then. Okay, great. Wow. So, and obviously, like right away, because of the way the owner of the mansion is looking at the, the Eddie Murphy's wife, like you know that she has like a lookalike back in the past. Like you figure everything out so quickly. And it's almost like the movie, like... You expect better from the movie. Yeah, like you're like, really? Really? What a one dimensional plot there. What a shame. Because this movie, I feel like it captures the ride, the spirit of the ride, and the characters that you see in the ride really well, actually. I, you can tell this is a movie that really appreciates um, what it's based on. Uh, like the first kind of Parasite Caribbean movie, it definitely does that well. Uh, it just needed, like, it needed to like surprise us a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not saying like have some crazy twists in there, but at least have Eddie Murphy's character. Like, you know how like in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, there's this moment where Jack Sparrow looks at himself in the moonlight and he's like a skeleton. That was cool. Like little moments like that uh, would have been nice with Eddie Murphy's character. Like maybe he dies, becomes a ghost. I don't know. Even the movie Casper uh does something like that right where like um bill pullman's character dies for real becomes a ghost and then it becomes about trying to get him back it's actually quite sad what happens um you know just, just something like that i needed a little bit more like eddie murphy goes to another kind of plane ex of existence because the the other problem with this movie is it it's very self-contained like i don't see like if this was meant to be the beginning of some kind of franchise i don't see how because the the way the movie wraps up, that's basically it. It does just that. It wraps up. They own the mansion. The end. Okay, there's no threat left over. Nothing really going on. The bad guys go to hell. The good guys go to heaven. Uh, for some reason, the, the busts, the statues are still talking and singing. And I'm like, wait, why aren't they in heaven? <laughs> like, what? Um, it's very inconsistent, <laughs> actually. Um, so, like, it wraps up, like, completely and yet clumsily. So, I don't know. I, I feel like this movie needed better writing altogether. Would have saved it. Um, I think it might have taken it to the next level. And maybe we could have got a franchise. I don't know. Uh, but looking at it as it is, it's pretty, it's fine. You know, it's it's watchable. It's enjoyable uh, for what it is. Uh, it's got some fun moments here and there. It's got uh, really... Uh, Nice kind of visuals, like some of the effects have dated a little bit, um, but it looks fine. It it feels like the ride in uh, more than a few places. So I don't know. I think this movie had the right idea. It just didn't quite get there as a movie. You know, it's a fun uh, little movie, but it's not good. <laughs> like it's not great. It's not great. Um, but it's worth watching. I would say like. If you have a kid who wants to have kind of a spooky experience on Halloween, just put them in front of Haunted Mansion. It's a good time, you know, and Eddie Murphy's fun. So I don't know. I didn't hate this movie. I actually liked it more than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to be like really bored or the effects were going to be so bad. I would have just kind of like, ugh. but no, it was fine. It was OK. Uh, pretty harmless movie. Had an OK. If you like the Haunted Mansion, right, this is not really the definitive uh, movie for that, but I feel like it's it's almost there. It's almost there. I think it actually does a decent job. Like I could see someone going to the right, then watching this movie and being like, "Oh yeah, I remember this and this and this and that's fun." You know, not not um, not a bad movie. I feel like it deserves better. I think you can probably put this movie next to like uh, other like Eddie Murphy movies that deserved better. You know, like uh, Pluto Nash. Honestly, Pluto. This movie and Pluto and Nash would make a good double feature because they're both uh, fun, silly Eddie Murphy movies that got completely trashed, but were actually fine, like, not that bad. 
just quite original actually in the way they're done uh, i recommend checking out this movie just once um and then maybe you can make it traditional halloween or something but it's not like a must see or anything if you like eddie murphy you're like kind of the haunted mansion ride i would give it a go i would give it a go it's not not a bad movie it just struggles a little bit uh with the story there but uh and it is it is very very predictable to the point where you just wonder like what the writer was thinking at times but you know what uh fun performances all around nice visuals um close to the ride it's a good time thank you for watching see you guys in the next review